Hi everyone, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up an out of office message in Gmail or Outlook. We all go on vacation, but we still need to let people in our inbox know that we're not going to be available for a certain time. So instead of checking your emails and going back and forth, you can simply use the autoresponder to instantaneously send someone a response to let them know why you're out of office and when you're going to be back. So let's get started. All right, so you're going to log into your Gmail account into settings. Then from settings, you're going to click general and you're going to scroll all the way down to your autoresponder. Now I've already filled this out, but before you turn it on, you want to make sure that you put the first and the last date. If you are going away months ahead of time, you can also select that. So you're not limited to how far or how close you can select when you want your vacation responder to be on. You can have your subject line and then you have your message that you'd like people to see and you can decide whether or not you want them to respond to people in your contacts or to people in your work email. I work at Mailbird, so this is an option for me. You'll see your company name. And then once you're done, you click save and that's it. So you're gonna log into your Outlook, you're gonna click in settings and then you're gonna see this pop-up right here. And you're gonna go down to automated replies. And automated replies is something that you're gonna use for your out of office or vacation responder. So in Gmail, it's called vacation responder and in Outlook, it's called automated replies. You're gonna turn it on, then you're going to select which time period you want. And you can also block your calendar for this period so that no one books a meeting with you. You can also decline new invitations um, that may be sent to you, or you can decline cancel meetings that were either booked before, or after, or during the period of your vacation or out of office period. Once you've written your messages, you can select that reply it should either only go to your contacts. If you want it to go to all of your contacts, just leave this box unchecked. Once you're done, click save and that's it. So now that we know how to set up our out of office messages, whether you're using Gmail or Outlook, here are some good pointers when you're creating your out of office messages. Three tips when you're creating your out of office messages is why you're out of office. You don't need to give specific details, but just let them know either you're sick, you're on vacation, or you have an emergency. Because out of office messages aren't just for when you're on vacation. It could be that you have a family emergency, you're out of town, you're traveling or you're sick. You also want to put to a date when you'll be back because even though you have the autoresponder to let people know that you're out of office, people are still reaching out to you because they need to do work with you. So let them know, okay, I'll be back in office on Tuesday at X time. Or you can let them know they can expect a response between a certain date range. So it gives you time to go through your inbox. Three, you should also have someone else that they can direct their query to. For example, if someone wants to reach out to you for something because you were working on a project before you went out of office, you might want to say for certain queries, you can also reach out to XYZ if it's an emergency. This helps because different people are going to be messaging you for different requests. And if it's something that's urgent, especially if it's internal, you also want to have a second point of contact that people can email just in case so that they're not reliant on you whether or not you're in office. Okay, so this was a very short and sweet video, but you learned how to set up your out of office messages and you got a few good pointers along the way. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And remember that we post videos like this on how to increase your email productivity every week. So that's a wrap for this week and I'll see you guys next week.